Yeah. Uh, Your Honor, in relationship to Charles Deckard's question about uh, education, um, would it be possible for the, the Vatican to have its own uh, uh, international accrediting agency for Catholic colleges and universities? Or would that present some sort of a, uh, a difficulty uh, uh, in relationship to uh, uh, different governments? Is that, would that be a way to solve it? No, I, if I understand correctly the question, I think the difficulty is, is in the fact that states want to control education in their own, within their own boundaries. And therefore, states want to make sure that the degrees and the accreditation of institutions are properly made according to state law, to national law. So if the Vatican or the Holy See interferes, it will be interference in the internal legislation of a state which is not appropriate. But the Holy See gives degrees for its own, within its own area, which is theology, and the, the Holy See can recognize those, those kind of academic degrees. You couldn't recognize like a, like pontifical status to different uh Something similar to pontifical status. Yeah. But only in the area of theology? No, canon law. Catholic University, for example, Catholic University of America is the only papal uh, university here that has that I know of, Georgetown, it's not. Is that not true? That's right. No, I. We, we can no. give a, uh, a doctorate in sacred theology, for example. Canon law. Canon law. Scripture. There, there is one other in the United States, Josephina. Josephina, yes. has a papal capacity to give. There's also our own university in Bethlehem. Right. We are a papal university, okay. but that's more for political purposes. Because is, of the problems with Israel. Yeah, right. So there are these kinds of things around the world. Yes. Okay. Yes, I have two questions. I used to work in, in Uganda, and we had a great deal of difficulty of not having enough uh, health workers. So once our clinic leave, uh, nobody is there to advise uh, the population to have with vaccinations and so forth. Would it be possible for theological sem seminaries to put up a course for being health care helpers? And could they take over wherever no other medical help is available? Uh, they could do an overall uh, job on all tropical countries. Would that be a possibility? Uh, I, I doubt. Uh, because a, a, at the beginning of, like at the end of the 19th century, the beginning of the 20th century, there were some courses of primary medical attention in seminaries, especially for missionaries going to Africa or going to Asia or Latin America. But now things have evolved. For example, when I was in, Eth in Ethiopia, we opened a 150-bed hospital, modern, very good, with a school of nursing. And we graduate now there some 34, 35 nurses, men and women every year that are going to all the hospitals and the small remote clinics in the countryside where there are no medical doctors still now available. So it, it, there is an awareness that there's something has to be done and the way to do it is by opening a school of nurses, nursing and things like that. The second question I have, uh, can you give us some advice how our ac academic uh, uh, organization could have some more relationship with the Vatican Academy of Science? Could we get to our meeting uh, representatives of the Vatican Academy? Could they invite an observer from our group to be work together a little more closely? Mm. That's a good idea. Huh? 
I don't, I, I don't know the, technique, the, the bylaws of the uh, Pontifical Academies, but maybe an interesting idea to have uh, people invited as observers. That's some suggestion to be brought up to them. Yes, yes, that's a good. I, that's from my point of view, huh? Well, you have the informal Polish presence today, extended bilaterally. Hmm. Good sister. Can I just ask? Uh, as for work in the Vatican in Geneva and all these various uh, organizations that you mentioned, it doesn't have any um, uh, relationship with the European Union because they seem to uh, want to de-Christianize. Uh, their uh, status in Europe and things like that. So that's why I'm asking the question. The, uh, you, uh, there is a nuncio for the European Union in Brussels. And his job is to follow the developments of the European Union legislation, decisions, and so forth. Yeah. And as you know, there is uh, an ongoing debate now because in Ireland there are going to be elections, uh, there is going to be a vote on the European Treaty. Because if Ireland says no, the European Treaty, which would be like a constitution for a political U euro, it will be blocked. So th th there are concerns. But yes, there is a very close attention to the development of the European Union that is sometimes goes in a different direction than what we as Christians would like it, to see it. For example, the European Parliament has condemned violation of human rights for China six times, or some so six, seven times. For others, for, for, for the Catholic Church, the Roman Catholic Church, 30 times. And that's the European Parliament. <laughs> so there are interesting developments that we have to keep uh, watching. Wow. Yeah. What is the situation in Hungary? In Hungary. I'm Hungary. sorry. Hungary. 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 It's very good now. Is it? Between church and state in Hungary, there are. It's very, very normal. Very correct. It's developing, you know. You know that uh, since uh, the, f the fall of the wall in, in 89 and the development of Eastern Europe and the independence of the countries of Eastern Europe, new agreements or concordates have been signed with the Slovak Republic, with the Czech Republic, with uh, Hungary, with Poland, and uh, that's another aspect of the Vatican, of the Holy See diplomacy that I have not been discussing, but it is an important aspect. In the last uh, few years, dozens of uh, concordates have been worked out with African, Europe, East European, and other countries uh, to establish clear mutually acceptable relations between the church and the state and this is done by the diplomacy of the Holy See. Good. Well, thank you. Thanks.